The 13th Doctor's time on the show is shrouded in hate. With Jodie Whittaker stepping into the role of the Doctor, we also got a brand new showrunner, Chris Chibnall, and a brand new composer for the show, Sega Nakanola. If you were a Doctor Who fan who watched this era, you would know of the common criticisms. That the writing was bad, that the storylines were bad, that the episodes were bad, that everything was bad. And trust me, there were some abhorrent episodes and moments. filter. Very easy to jam. Now they'll see the real you. Good luck. Like I said, some really badly written and disgusting moments that should never be in the show. There is definitely a lot of negatives about the 13th Doctor's era. Some of the episodes aren't up to par. Orphan 55, Praxius, and let's not forget the Timeless Child arc, are some of the most hated and badly written episodes of the show's history. However, there are some gems in there. Some undiscovered, underrated gems of episodes that definitely need to be looked upon. Firstly, I'd like to start with Jodie Whittaker, the 13th Doctor. She is an incredible actress and was given a severe bad hand with some of the scripts she was given. She can act and she is a great Doctor. And she gets some episodes to shine, but unfortunately the writing does let her down quite a bit. We need help from the outside, which is easier said than done. Unless one of us, or all of us, were really clever. I mean, this is why you manifested here. To remind me. There's always a way. Things always work out. Right? And unfortunately, a lot of her great moments do severely get undercut by the music. The music, a lot of the time, doesn't fit the tone or doesn't fit the scene, which undercuts Jodie's brilliant performance as 13. She understands the Doctor. She gets the Doctor down to a T, but unfortunately, my criticism would be that Chris Chipnall doesn't get the Doctor just right. However, even regardless of the bad writing, the actors are some of the reasons why the strongest episodes in this era are so strong. Take The Fugitive of the Jadoon, for example. Jodie Whittaker's 13th Doctor and Joe Martin's Fugitive Doctor, respectively, are great in the episode, and that's what makes the episode such a strong episode. I broke the glass. It's all come back to me. This. What is this? That's my ship. What? Let me take it from the top. Hello. I'm the Doctor. The Fugitive of the Jadoon is great for several reasons. Its acting is great. You bring back the Jadoon, one of the most memorable New Who villains, or characters technically, and it made a great episode. It made for a great viewing experience, unlike the majority of 13's era. However, a lot of people don't consider this a good episode or undercut it due to its connection with the Timeless Child arc. And that's what I feel like the issue with a lot of 13's era. A lot of the great episodes are connected with bigger subplots that a lot of people dislike or are heavily critiqued. Take The Haunting of Villa Diodati, The War of the Sontarans, and Village of the Angels. These are all great episodes, some really enjoyable, memorable episodes, but they're all connected to bigger subplots that are hated, which, in most cases, is the Timeless Child arc. If you're somebody that doesn't like the Timeless Child arc, you're not going to be able to get to these episodes. You're not going to be able to enjoy these episodes due to their connection to the bigger plot which is something which I unfortunately feel like lets these episodes down. Another critique of this era is the fact that the companions are very two-dimensional, which I feel for Ryan is a great, great analysis of him. He's two-dimensional, we don't know much about him, even after two series of the show. However, there are some standouts. I love Graham in this. I think he's a great companion. I love Bradley Walsh's performance as Graham, and I think his humour is great. And throughout his time, he gets a lot of emotional depth, with a potential cancer scare coming back, with his wife dying, and in the last episode of The Power of the Doctor. But I came back, and I actually can't tell anyone, because they'd have me put away. <laughs> and that's, that, that started me thinking, though. I can't be the only one. The acting here really saves his companion. It gives him depth, it gives him character. And there are some shining moments there for a lot of these companions. But again, it gets overlooked because, again, the writing is bad. It is subjectively bad, which ruins a lot of the great moments and a lot of the great scenes of this show. Like any series of Doctor Who, there are positives and negatives. And unfortunately, with this series and era, the negatives outweigh the positives. And I hope that people give a more subjective view on it. I hope people give this era a chance when they're watching Shooty Gatwa's era of the show. I hope they give the acting a chance. I hope they give Jodie Whittaker a chance. Because there is some good episodes here. There's some good stuff. But it gets overshadowed by a lot of the things that I'll put up in today's video. 
but I'm hoping this video has also given a retrospective of why maybe this series 13, series 12, series 11 is maybe a bit overhated.